I'm a, I'm a firm, firm believer in second chances. Just because I have had maybe a bad experience with something doesn't mean that you will have a bad experience with something. And I made that uh, point a little bit more clear in a video I made a while ago regarding a certain camera I was trying to sell, the Minolta Maxim 7000, a camera that uh, I'm on the record as not really being particularly fond of because I think it sounds like a dying animal and the autofocus is terrible and the plastic build, the degrading grips, AAA batteries, the uh, LCD screen, the, well, anyway, you get the point. Not a big fan. That being said, I still think it's a good camera for some people, for some applications. Totally fair. It's a camera that I shot with and I was like, you know what? I could see why people would like this. I, Cause I, I really do believe that like, just because I'm experiencing a thing a certain way doesn't mean that that's how you're going to experience it. We're all, you know, different. We're all going to see things in a different light. And that's what I think makes us beautiful as humans, as photographers, as artists, what have you. However, that being said, there is another camera that I'm going on the record on this channel a, a few times now. I've been quite vocal about my distaste of. And uh, if you've been watching this for any measure of time, you'll kind of know what I'm about to bring up. And that is, of course, the Contax S2. Now, the the sting of this camera was that I had such high hopes for it. I was thinking this will be the camera for me. Like, I, I've, I've spoken a bit about this, not recently, but I've spoken a bit about finding, like, that camera for me. Like, just the, the penultimate camera. And I thought this was going to be it. All mechanical, decent metering system, top shutter speed of one four thousandth, uh, titanium top and bottom plates, decent lens mount. This was going to be it. And then it wasn't. Then it died. <laughs> and I ended up with a $30 Minolta SRT202, which I still really enjoyed the camera. But this kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. And this was the epitome of can't really have nice things. However, it works. I uh, took it apart and got it cleaned up, got all the shutter speeds dialed in. The meter was never an issue, but I got a different meter on there now. And overall, this camera is back up to snuff. And that brings me back to the original point of this video the beauty of the second chance. And that's what I'm going to give this camera because at the end of the day, it's just, it's a camera. I mean, and it's one that I spent a lot more money than I'm comfortable admitting on. And I think it's deserving of that at the very least. It's something that I really did enjoy using while it worked. And it's not something that I'll probably hold on to for a while, but at the very least, it's something that I'd like to give another shot because again, I spent so much money on it. Comparatively speaking, I spend very little money on the cameras that I buy because I'm just a trash collector. Um, but I thought, what better way to double check <laughs> the quality of this camera than with one of my favorite film, Kodak Color Plus. Uh, my favorite film and my least favorite camera. I mean, what could go wrong? It's a fucking YouTube video for the ages. Why not give it a rip? One more shot. Last rodeo of this, uh, <laughs> of this guy. And we'll just see where, see where the wind takes us, if you will. So I'm going to load this up and going to shoot around for the next week or so. Just see what happens. I guess also I'm going to probably try out this uh, Reflex Labs light meter. See how that shakes out. I'll make a separate video about this later. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the Contax S2 final review. And see some quality Color Plus photos. Appreciate it as always. Catch you on the next one.